In this video, we'll look at how to get started using the DevExpress Blazor HTML editor. This component allows you to format text and add graphics to a document. The editor supports inline and block formatting, images, tables, and built-in toolbar customization. You can use mentions and add placeholder variables. I already created a Blazor application that's configured to use DevExpress components. Our HTML editor does not support static render mode, so I enable interactivity on this page. I add a DX HTML editor to the page and set its width to 80%. I can leave other properties unspecified to render an empty editor. I use the null text property to display the prompt text at the first render. Let's look at it in the browser. An editor with the prompt text appears right after the page loads. I can type text, use toolbar commands to format text, or add inline and block elements. I want to render an editor with predefined content. For this purpose, I specify the markup property. You can also use the bind attribute to bind the markup property to a field. The DevExpress HTML editor for Blazor stores its markup in HTML format and can display plain text and formatted content at the first render. Let's see how it works. The editor displays the predefined content converted with the HTML format. The HTML editor component supports user input validation. When a user enters an invalid value, the focused editor displays a validation message at the specified position. I want to check whether the editor's markup is empty. I bind the markup property to an empty string, handle the markup changed event, and use the isValid property to specify validation rules. Additionally, I customize the message text and change the message position. Let's see the result. While the editor is unfocused, it does not display the validation message. The message appears when I focus the editor. Once I add any content and remove focus, the editor updates its markup and treats it as valid. You can also configure the editor to update the markup with a delay after the last change. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to customize the editor's built-in toolbar. I have my initial code with minimal configurations. I register the DevExpress Blazor Office namespace and handle the Customize Toolbar event to access and modify toolbar settings. In the handler, you can manage group and item collections, add custom groups, and apply customizations. I want to add a custom color group with predefined items and remove all items from the Insert Element group. I also add the predefined variable group because the default toolbar does not contain it. And let's see the result. The editor's toolbar now contains a custom group with text color settings. The insert element group icon is hidden as the group is empty. The predefined variable group is also available, but it doesn't contain any variables yet. Let's create them. Placeholder variables help create templates for document generation. I've already created a data field with custom variables. To use them in the editor, I add a DX HTML editor variables object to component markup and bind it to the variables field. The editor encloses variables between escape sequences. I use the escape characters property to customize them. Let's see how it works. The customized toolbar contains the predefined variable group, which now includes two variables, first name and last name. Once I click a variable, the editor inserts it at the caret position in the document. Our Blazor HTML editor also supports mentions that allow a user to reference other users in text or conversation threads. You can create multiple mention lists and identify them with unique markers. I've already created a data source that contains information about employees. To use a mention list in the editor, I add a DX HTML editor mention object to the DX HTML editor mentions collection and specify the data property. I use display field name property to specify display values for mentions and assign a unique marker to the marker property. I create one more field that obtains an employee's name and bind this field to the search field name property to enable search operations for mentions. Let's run the application. When I type the predefined marker, the editor displays a drop down list of available names. I can choose from the list or search for a particular person. 
And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.